here. Um, didn't share. I know I said the last time I didn't share in a while because I didn't really do anything. Really did not do anything new. Well, got a couple, at least one new thing going today. Um, got a couple tractors in the shop. This here is one of the R's. Um, the suspension was rigid on it. So I pulled the accumulators, took them up to our deer dealership, uh, deer country, and um, had to get one new one as it didn't take a charge. I actually misunderstood him. I heard him say I only had one that didn't take a charge. And I took that as, and he only had to charge three of them. But regardless, it's still better than having to buy uh, all new ones. Um, so had to replace one new one. Um, uh, yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna put them in when I'm done with this other tractor. Got the 6190 here. Was getting a code for cab pressure motor, I believe it was. Um, I was told this was gonna be a frustrating project, so I'm glad I was warned because it is. Um, have some German engineering influence with this thing. I've worked on Volkswagens before. I mean, minor, but I've worked on them. You see your component that you're going for, and you're like, oh, I just need to move this to get to that. And, oh, but first I need to move that to get to this. And before you know it, you're a half a dozen parts deep just to get a hose clamp. Um, that blower motor, I had to remove the floor mat. Um, I got the command arm control arm rest up here i took it off the seat i was told to put the seat in the back windowsill did not do that yet it's not light um i'm not a hundred percent sure if i have to but i may um i think but i'm not sure the blower motor <clears throat> well we're gonna find out eventually but it goes in here somewhere it basically just lays in and um yeah so i take it all apart pull the old one out put the new one in lay it back you know and go back together again so um <clears throat> got some cosmetic stuff removed the side console cover the rear cover here um i was told i had to get some stuff in the back as well um i didn't get that far yet to confirm that, but um, so far everything has lived up to ex expectations, and I'm imagining I will have to do that. So, going to get the shop back in here and clean some of this dirt out. As you can imagine, um, on a 10-year-old tractor used in a farm, why it accumulates, even though this specific tractor only has like 2,500 hours on it. Uh, it's kind of low hours for a 10-year-old tractor. Um, we bought it used a few years ago from a local dealership. Um, got traded on a fence, and uh, so we took it off their hands. We'd like to run these. And it only had 800 hours at that point, so somebody didn't use it very much. So anyhow, that's what I'm working on today. Um, I'm gonna see, I was told that I'm gonna call this thing everything but sunshine till I'm done with it, and I'm understanding that. So uh, I'm gonna get going with it here. The accumulators really weren't that bad. This one was a little more frustrating than some of the newer ones. Not as much room to work with, um, but I got them out and I know how I have to put them back in to, to get it together. So anyhow, all right, well, I'm gonna start digging here again and, and uh, see what I get into. So I got it vacuumed out. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to take this plate off where the seat was sitting on. Uh, not 100%, but this housing here appears to go underneath it. Um, if I didn't say it already, I got a bunch of Torx head uh, screws to take out. Um, I guess any project wouldn't be complete without having um, several different fittings. I mean, to make them all the same size, that would be too too convenient. Got to throw an Allen screw in there once in a while. Torx fittings here. Um, yeah. Anyhow. Sarcasm was intended and I think very appropriate. But I guess you keep the tool people in business and the and the hardware people in business. You get a bunch of different style stuff. Just make some more stuff for us to buy. So anyhow, see what we find in here. I 
found one plug i hope that's not the plug for the motor because it's a different style than what i got i hope it's a different one i hope it's a different motor so i got this one side removed um there's an indoor cab filter goes there this actually goes out looks like i need to adjust the foam a little bit but there's an outside filter that that uh, gets air from now there's a motor there i don't believe that's the one i'm replacing so that's probably where the plug goes um, and I said, I hope that's not the one. Uh, so my understanding is what I just removed, I had to remove to get to this other cover here. Um, so <clears throat> like I said, there's layers. It's like an onion. Um, only this just gives me a bad attitude, not bad breath. So, all right, we're gonna do the other side. And as I'm looking at this, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take the plate off that I'm on. Um, he did tell me I was going to have to move the seat, so that would only make sense that I have to move that plate. But, and I didn't take nearly enough screws out yet from what I had understood. So, we're going to take this side out. <clears throat> I'm sure a power, whatever, would be nice for this, but... Sometimes you just got to go old fashioned. I think there's three or four screws and then there's little clips yet. So you dare not get frustrated and try to take it off after the screws are out or else you'll break it. Almost seems intentional. I guess the clips help to put it in place for you to put the screws in now. Now. Okay. It's like they started with the cab frame and then put this motor in and build around it. Among some other things. Take the screwdriver back in there. All right. It seems like the dirt never stops. Neither do the wires. Just the electronics go deeper and deeper here. All right. It's not a big deal to have the camera turned on. I talk to myself anyhow sometimes. So if I, I'm talking, at least I might as well be talking to somebody else. All righty. Well, I couldn't find a longer screwdriver. So I had to settle for this one. Falls out. Eey, boy. This project is. I was going to say one screw away from being a problem. Oh. Not liking the way these other ones are feeling. I was actually joking about the length, if you couldn't tell, but, oh, what I was about to say is it's not such a bad thing now. These are SK screwdrivers, they got a place to put a wrench on, I'm going to try that yet. I do not want to around that Phillips. Put some weight on it. Oh, you bugger. Not enough weight. Yeah, that was fun. Now. That 
that's thing was torquing and twisting. All right, I'm holding my whoops. <laughs> weren't even looking at the tractor. I'm holding my breath that this thing's gonna come loose. Um, my light came loose. Got the uh, all the hardware, I believe. Uh, I'll admit it'd be nice if the seat was out of here, but uh, like I said, it is heavy. I ain't as good as I once was. I'm not even sure if I'm good. Once as good as I once was. So. Hmm. Problem is. I pretty much have to come straight up this thing. So that's part of the reason the seat ought to be moved. We're gonna stop for a commercial break. Alrighty, I got the seat moved up there. Sort of a fun story. Um, felt like it was gonna go out the back. I had to deflate it to make room for it to get up there. So I plugged it back in once it was up there and put air in the seat. Now it's kind of wedged in there, so to speak. So <laughs> I'm gonna try not to sneeze around it though. But all right, I can move on here, I believe. Um, piece here is coming out. There we go. I think it's coming out. And there. Still not 100% sure where this thing is. Like I said, there was two other motors that there was plugs for. Um, but I get the feeling my wrist is gonna get sore now. I see a lot of these torque screws. Um, there's a bunch of them all around here. I don't know, I say a bunch, it's maybe not more than 10, but I believe this all has to come out together. So it's gonna add up. And then there's a couple hex screws there. I mean, of course you gotta throw a couple of them in there. I mean, it'd be dumb to do it with one tool. That'd be ridiculous. All right, moving right along. All righty, I have these two hex bolts to get yet. And I believe I'm ready for liftoff. I might have come down hard on German engineering earlier, and I probably should not have done that, but I've experienced similar experiences on other, like I said, Volkswagen's, but they're good cars as well. Um, we like these tractors, they're actually great tractors um, and obviously I'm not working on the air conditioning motors yearly even so I can't really is that bolt even gonna come out might, oh they might even made that so it's just kind of a part of the plastic and I don't have to reach down there and pray that I don't drop it into the abyss of the cab Oh, never mind. That's a long bolt. Get loose and then find a new point of resistance. All right. So it appears it is loose. One of my biggest fears of this is... Uh, I shouldn't say my biggest fears, but... It's, one of quite a few fears is making sure I don't pinch any wires going back together because there's quite a few places here where that can happen. And I really don't want to do this again in the spring. These other motors have a wiring harness or a little plug end on them. I'm thinking I might have 
to undo that, but we'll see. I'm not sure yet. Oh, come on. So, I guess I better just do that. I should have got me a pack of zip ties. They have them zip tied. Well, the dump. The dumb thing is they don't... Even if I unplug them, I'm not gaining a whole lot. They're, they're zip tied to the housing, and then I'm... I cut the zip. Uh oh. <laughs> that felt ugly. There you guys went. Alright, so here's a big motor. And there's the guy I want, I believe. That was a little. I didn't think that plug in was the same, but it is the same. So that's the guy I want. I am not good with air conditioning stuff. I believe this is called the evaporator. I'm going to go with that. Sure. Yeah, evaporator. Um, and while I'm in here, I'm going to replace that little guy there. I believe it's uh, some type of sensor uh, for the evaporator. So we had some other air conditioning issues. They weren't horrible, but at a time or two we didn't have AC. And that might have been part of the problem as well. So while I'm in here and doing that, um, another motor assembly there. Um, it'd be the same mess to replace that, but I'm guessing the price tag on that is, um, not pretty. So I'm not going to do that. And I wasn't told to do that. So, um, I guess not pretty means to sit tight for a while. That was fun. Now I'm going to pull this motor out here and, uh, we are going to go back together then. If I can talk right now. Yep, just slides right in there. There's no 15 screws or um, two different kinds of hardware. Just pop right in there. Whoop, there it went. So, previously I should have shared um, this little cube right here. Pulling that out solves 95% of your problems, or at least the audible ones. Um, that thing would chirp and beep every 15 seconds, it seemed, uh, because of this stupid motor. So. I forget what for sensor this was for the evaporator. Um, but like I said, this spring when we were mowing rye, this past spring when we were mowing rye, um, it was, the AC wasn't working for me all the time, and I was told that this might have had something to do with that, but... It's a kind of a minor thing. Looks like a meat probe. Um, I imagine it senses, I don't know, the temperature of the condenser. I have no idea. But anyhow, I'm not so good with battery life in this thing. Um, put that motor in there. There's a little rubber grommet. Not sure if you can see it, but I have one for this other motor. When I go back together, I'm going to have to be careful that I have them in right. Um, keep that area sealed up it's spot literally spotless in there um which is you know part of the reason for all the screws um but you gotta keep the thing sealed tight uh, anyhow all right i'm gonna put this piece in and then we're gonna go back together all righty i got the cover back on that was kind of fun in itself um those motors have like the motor I put in and the one that was existed there that already was stayed in, the big one in the center, they have like plastic, man, indigestion, plastic edges on them. And when I put this top cover back on, I believe that had to line up with those edges as well. I could be wrong. Um, it seemed that way. Um, anyhow, when it went together, it finally fell together and we got it. Um, probably not going to share a whole lot more um my battery's getting low and um yeah it's going to be going back together here i didn't share coming apart so maybe i'll put a little of that in but um 
I'm going to say this would go a little bit better going back together than what it did coming apart since I know what I got to do here. But um, I like doing new things. Um, I'm not sure if this rates up there as uh, a new thing that I like to do, <laughs> but I did it. So anyhow, we're going to go back, to continue going back together here. Got a bunch of screws to put in. So I'm going back together here. Um, had to put a bolt down in there. You can see the top of its head there. And I have another one. Over, well, two more I got to do. And I mean, it's down in there. That's probably four or five inches maybe down in there. And I, I mean, unless you're a midget with a small hand, no, no offense to anybody that's a midget, but or a kid, you know, with a little hand, why, uh, it's tough to get down in there. Um, not only that, it doesn't even look like the holes lined up, but I can probably hopefully fix that without a whole lot of trouble. Well, maybe not. All right, so I got that one, and I'm gonna get the other one pretty simple too. There's a silly putty here they used as some type of a seal. I ripped a piece of that off and put it in the bolt head so it snugged up on the between the socket and the bolt head, and I was able to guide it down in there. Um, it worked. Um, I don't know how a professional would have done it, but that's how I did it. So we got it going. Uh, I had to use a screwdriver to pry the the housing over a bit, or the, the piece of metal to line the hole up. So it was not only was I trying to thread that in, I had to pry the pry things together to get them to line up as well. All right, I moved the seat back down again, getting some of the fascia or whatever you want to call it back in here. Um, we'll call it fascia. There it is. Some screws that go on the outside. It's one of those pieces I felt like I should have been done a while ago, but or when I took it apart, but there were some screws on the outside I had to get that I didn't see. Oh, it's going to have to be one of those pieces that falls together just right, I believe. God. Oh, I shouldn't have put those in yet. So I got the seat plugged in, was able to raise it up again, um, gotta make sure I have these wires where they belong. Um, real quick, sort of gotta lift up the skirt, and little, the seat skirt a little bit to get up in there and uh, get up in there and put the bolts down through. I don't have it lined up yet, but put the bolts in, tighten her up. And this skirt has these plastic pins that are barbed that go into these holes right here. So once this thing's in place, that's the bulk of it. I got to put the face in over here in the console, the right console. I put the rear face here, whatever you want to call it in. Um, Fortunately, I only lost two screws in the abyss, as I said earlier. Um, one was for the plastic housing. Um, I was all but done, and the last one it slipped, and I don't, I couldn't find it with my magnet. And then the one to hold this fascia in the back here, there was, I had my hand out the back window trying to line it up, and it popped out of my hand. I don't know where it went. Hopefully, it didn't go somewhere where it was going to cause issues. So, anyhow, that was the bulk of this. Um, I'll get a picture or something when I'm done here, but uh, most of the party's over. Oh boy, I got the beeper back, so now it'll holler at us if we have any other major issues. Um, yeah, I've got the seat fastened, command arm back on. Um, now I gotta put this side console fascia on and 
believe it or not the rubber mats kind of annoying um, but it's yeah not the end of the world so yeah the meat of this project is done um, the air conditioner still like I said it we had some issues this spring but it was more of a I think that um, evaporator might have been frosting up some and we weren't <clears throat> we were having issues because of that um, well I, yeah I don't know I put that thermos uh, sensor in or whatever looked like a meat probe I put that in I was told to do that we'll see what happens so but we're not getting the code for that fan anymore um, Ashlyn was here earlier he said about turning the key on and trying it out which was a good idea to make sure it was working before I went any further and that took care of it so um, yeah I'm about wrapped up with this and ready to put those accumulators in the other one once I'm done here alrighty we got her back together again floor everything's in here it's a real fun time so I've got the merger controls in here extra wires that we wouldn't have depending what we were working on but that's all right i have a one size fits all harness so well until next time um i think i'm gonna cut this video off here um i don't know if you learned anything today but i did so anyhow have a good one and god bless mm -hmm.